Welcome to Bible Stories, where we delve into spiritual topics and biblical narratives to deepen our understanding of faith and prophecy. In today's discussion, we'll explore a fascinating story that has sparked intrigue and controversy. Mel Gibson's encounter with what he believed to be the Antichrist in Hollywood. This account raises thought-provoking questions about spiritual discernment and the challenges of navigating faith in a complex world. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more engaging discussions on biblical themes. Don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's embark on this journey of spiritual exploration together. The Hollywood film industry has long been associated with dark and unsettling rumors. Many conspiracy theories circulating online suggest that celebrities, actors, producers, singers, and directors are members of secret societies engaged in sinister activities to achieve fame, success, power, and eternal youth. Some dismiss these theories as attempts to defame celebrities, while others genuinely believe in the connection between famous figures and dark forces. Recently, insiders from Hollywood have come forward with disturbing experiences involving their famous colleagues, including allegations of trafficking, sexual exploitation of minors, psychological abuse, and ties to satanic cults. In today's video, I'll share a compelling testimony from actor and director Mel Gibson. Besides starring in numerous successful films, Gibson gained international recognition for directing The Passion of the Christ, depicting the crucifixion of Jesus. Gibson claims to have had a personal encounter with what he describes as the Antichrist, an event that he believes led to the downfall of his career. Could this encounter be linked to biblical prophecy about a future figure who will dominate humanity during a time of tribulation? Before diving in, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and enabling notifications. I aim to support you in your spiritual journey every day. Now let's explore Mel Gibson's career and the intriguing events surrounding his encounter with what he believes to be the Antichrist. Yes, it might seem like nothing was happening. This brings us to the subject of this video. In 1998, during an interview with an American television channel, Mel Gibson stirred up controversy within the press and film industry due to his comments about the personal lives of Hollywood celebrities, detailing their relationships, social circles, and dining companions. During this interview, Gibson shared a peculiar encounter involving actor Christopher Walken, known for roles in movies such as Sleepy Hollow, Click, and Catch Me If You Can. The incident occurred at a New York hotel, where Gibson claimed to have felt genuinely terrified during a meeting with Walken, likening the experience to confronting a demon. Here's an excerpt from Gibson's recollection of the encounter. I mean, this place is surreal, and it's easy to be influenced by it, no matter how strong-willed you are. His view on women in film is blunt. Women on screen, naked or dead, are better. It was unnerving. He came to see me on a rooftop in New York. I asked to speak with him and he floated over sideways through a crowd, dressed in black, moving gracefully like a dancer in those old vampire movies. He sat down next to me and it was unsettling. We conversed, avoiding script talk, delving into medieval topics and tortures. His enthusiasm for the gruesome details made my assistant leave, feeling the chill in the air. I wanted to leave too, sensing his growing intensity and noticing a building with a red illuminated 666 nearby. At that moment, I have jokingly thought, Chris Walken is the Antichrist. Back then, in my mid-twenties, it was all quite unsettling. The first time I arrived here, I was filled with strange suspicions about what was going on because so much seemed unfamiliar and no one bothered to explain. I developed opinions about the town and its people, thinking it couldn't possibly be as strange as I imagined, like a scene from a weird town where everyone in the bar goes quiet when a stranger enters, warning you not to go to the house on the hill. 
Later on, I realized my initial thoughts were paranoid and irrational, but as time passed, I discovered that many of my fears and suspicions were actually grounded in reality. It's like learning to navigate the currents of this place, adapting without fully conforming, which takes time, relaxation, and a clear understanding of the environment. Once you grasp the situation, the fear dissipates, allowing you to move forward with your original intentions. This environment can either break you down or be a humbling experience. It has the power to dismantle your life if you let it. Did you notice when Mel Gibson mentioned the red neon 666 on the day he was supposed to meet Christopher Walken at that New York hotel? It's intriguing that Walken smiled upon seeing Gibson's reaction to those numbers, knowing the actor's Christian beliefs and his tendency to discuss faith openly. It seems possible that Walken was mocking Gibson and his beliefs, which became evident enough for Gibson's assistant to feel spiritually uncomfortable and leave the meeting. Following that encounter, Gibson and Walken never crossed paths again or collaborated on any project. Subsequently, Gibson faced a turbulent period in his life, enduring years of media scrutiny and public judgment. Actress Whoopi Goldberg publicly defended him against accusations of racism, emphasizing that he was not the person portrayed by the media. Gibson's life took a turn in 2004 with the production of The Passion of the Christ. Through this film, he sought to emphasize that Jesus came to earth not only to preach peace and love, but also to fulfill a profound mission of sacrifice for human redemption. This film effectively portrayed the biblical prophecy of the Messiah's suffering unlike any other in cinematic history. As stated, consider what the Bible reveals about these events. He was wounded for our sins, crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. The film was a remarkable success, grossing over $600 million worldwide, filling theaters across the United States and many countries, and, most significantly, leading thousands to embrace Jesus and bringing back those who had strayed from the path of the Lord. Reflecting on this, I recognize that Mel Gibson's experiences including his encounter with Christopher Walken and the subsequent years of persecution and injustice, were part of a significant spiritual struggle. Satan may not have known that God had plans for Mel Gibson to create a film about Jesus' sacrifice, as he cannot predict the future. However, Satan recognized Gibson's fear of God and desire to serve him powerfully. Consequently, the enemy employed all means to attempt to destroy Gibson and thwart the Lord's plans. Yet, God never abandoned him, and victory was achieved. This success is evident in Gibson now working on the sequel to his film, titled The Passion of the Christ, Resurrection. Actor Jim Caviezel, who portrayed Jesus, anticipates that this upcoming film will be the greatest in history, noting that those involved are already facing substantial spiritual challenges during production. Now I'd like to share my perspective on Mel Gibson's belief that Christopher Walken was the Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, I respectfully disagree with him on this matter. I believe that at the time, Mel Gibson may not have had a clear biblical understanding of the true characteristics of the Antichrist, and his statement could have stemmed from a lack of knowledge of the scriptures. The Bible describes the Antichrist as a highly influential and charismatic figure skilled in politics and religion who will deceive many into worshipping him. 
Christopher Walken, while respected in the world of cinema and Hollywood, does not fit this description. It's possible that Walken was used by Satan during that encounter with Mel Gibson to launch a spiritual attack, but this does not imply that the actor is a fallen angel or one of the apocalyptic beasts. If you found this message and video helpful, please share it with your friends and family and consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, may God bless you. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into Mel Gibson's intriguing encounter and its spiritual implications. Remember, discernment and understanding of biblical teachings are crucial as we navigate through life's challenges. If you found this discussion meaningful, don't hesitate to subscribe to Bible Stories for more enlightening content. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your church group, family and friends to spark thought-provoking conversations. Together, let's continue to explore the depths of faith and scriptural wisdom. Until next time, may God bless you abundantly.